into what caused a nationwide outage affecting the system that relays safety information to flights. This is huge. We brought it to you as breaking news during Good Morning Jacksonville this morning. So airlines are resuming normal operations now, but not without a major headache for thousands of passengers across the United States. It's another chapter in the travel nightmare that we have been experiencing since the holidays. Leah Shields is out there at the Jacksonville International Airport with more. Well, there's still a lot of sitting and waiting, especially before the security checkpoint. You see families out here. Now, mainly this is because as flights get delayed, there are certain rules for when you can check your baggage. So four hours or more before your flight, you actually can't check your baggage. So they're sort of stuck here in this waiting zone until their airline allows them to do so, and then they can move through security. And this is what we're still looking at. A lot of yellow, which means delays in arrivals and departures to Jacksonville International Airport. So the problem is now a domino effect. Once flights were delayed, not just here, but around the country, then the airlines have to catch up and only so many flights can get in the sky at the same time. So you have people who have been waiting for hours to get on a flight. One man tells us he's trying to get back home to Utah. He's had multiple stops along the way usually, but because of just a single delay, he now has to spend nearly 24 hours traveling today. We also met a Jacksonville native who's trying to head out of town when his connecting flight was canceled this morning. So he just up and left. Well, you would think that with all the post the holiday and the Southwest Airlines issues that things would kind of get settled. But you get up early, you get here to get out on a flight, and the next thing you know, you're going with the flow. And certain airlines are already making accommodations to make sure that the passengers don't have to pay more to switch flights. United specifically already posting that they're going to waive any fees for rescheduling or even if an airfare is a different price, waiving all of that, making sure their passengers can get on with their travel. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.